Hello ACCA performance management people. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tackle a decision tree question. I'm sure you've practiced this topic in your course materials and you've probably drawn a decision tree. I want you to remember in your PM exam, because it's on a computer, you can't actually draw a decision tree. The only thing you can do is interpret one, okay? Or maybe find some mistakes in it, or possibly explain what the different pieces and points in the decision tree mean, okay? What I'd like you to do, I'd like you to pause the video, give this past exam question a try, and then let's come back and let's take it together. Welcome back. I've copied this question into the spreadsheet here so I can do the math a bit more neatly. And look at this. We're trying to make a decision. We're trying to deal with our leisure company and we're in decline. So we've got three decisions, right? And each branch represents a decision. We can shut down and sell. We can do the major or the minor upgrades. Okay. Now look at the, look at the answers there. Which one can we just eliminate immediately? One of those can come out. Well, yes, D. D is not feasible as an option. It's expected values, right? It's the, the best expected value is what we go with. And I want you to remember that decision trees is just an extension of the expected value concept. We're gonna calculate the expected value of each branch and that is how we will make our decision. So we're gonna compare shut down and sell against the upgrades. All right, and now we're always going to be working from the right to the left. And when we get to an outcome, we need to find an expected value at that outcome. So the major upgrade, we're starting with at the 11 and the 75, working to the left, and we have probabilities. The probability of good results there is Eight. That means the probability is of, of poor results would be 20%, right? 0 0.880. One minus that is 20%. Okay, so the major upgrade, right? The expected value, make column there, that's going to be equal to the 11 million multiplied by 80%, 0 0.8. Okay, plus the poor results, which are 7.5 million, okay, multiplied by 0 0.2, the 20%. And the minor upgrade then, that's going to be equal to that 9 million multiplied by 70%, 0 0.7, there it is right in the question, minus one minus 0 0.7 or 30%. So that's gonna then be the poor results of six multiplied by um, 0 0.3. Okay. There we go. That should have been a plus there. Okay, and we get an 8.1. Now, the only thing we have to do then is, is subtract from that the costs, okay, of the upgrade. So I can just come back into this cell let me wrap what I did in brackets. Okay, and now I can subtract from that the 4.5 million of cost. Minor upgrade had 2 million of cost. Wrap those in brackets. Parentheses, excuse me. Minus 2, 6.1. Okay, now we have the expected value of each decision. Shut down and sell right? There's no probability there. That's just going to cost 5.75 or that's going to give me 5.75 um, returns. And I would like to maximize the returns and 6.1 is the highest number. So I will go with the minor upgrade guys. Friends, there you have it. That's decision trees. Essentially assigning an expected value of profit to each branch of our decision tree, each possible outcome, and then making our decision based on the highest expected value of profit. Guys, I hope you found that helpful. Good luck on your upcoming exam. And if you found this video helpful, 
feel free to throw down a like and hit subscribe. Steve, signing out for now.